Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about one of the things that I would really love to do someday. I have no idea how I would go about doing this or securing the possibility of doing this, but I would really love to go on lecture tours where I talk about reading and writing, where I try to promote my books, but where I also give my thoughts on literature as a whole, where I read passages from my books. And that, that's why later this year I'm going to be writing an outline where I'm going to give a lecture uh, online, uh, a live stream of sorts, either on TikTok or maybe on YouTube, where I talk about these very things. And I'm going to write it in such a way that if I, if I am ever invited to speak somewhere, then I can use that outline in order to uh, lecture. I mean, because I, I just think that I would really love to experience, you know, the presence of a live audience when I when I do readings of my work and when I talk about my work. That, that's something that I would really love to do because I have always excelled somewhat at public speaking, far more so than speaking to people face to face. Because when you're speaking to someone face to face, your responses have to be spontaneous. So I have to instantly think of something when I'm responding to what someone else is saying, which that can leave a lot of room for error. But if I'm able to write what I'm going to say ahead of time, or if I'm able to think about what I'm going to say ahead of time, then my speech can be very polished and very organized. So I am far better at public speaking than I am at speaking to people one-on-one. -on -one. And also because if I'm public speaking, I don't have to look any specific person in the eye. I can kind of just look at the crowd as a single entity, which is why I excelled actually uh, quite quite well in public speaking class uh, in college. I, I think I probably did better in that class than any other class, uh, surprisingly so, because because there were some other classes where I had to do like workshops and work with my hands where I did absolutely terribly, mainly because I'm not I'm not so good at working with my hands. But I think I am a good public speaker if I have time to prepare my speech ahead of time. I'm not the kind of person who could just get up and start speaking randomly to people, but if I have prepared my speech ahead of time, time, then I can do quite well. Not that I will plan out everything that I'm going to say. Uh, a lot of the speech will not be written word for word, but I'll just have an outline that can guide me and I'll have excerpts that I can re read from. So that's something that I would really love to do, even though I don't really know how I could possibly do it.